Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome of course so I have a trip coming up and I haven't really started packing for it yet at all so today that's pretty much what we're gonna do but I think it's gonna be more or less picking out outfit combinations than it is gonna be packing but before we get into any of that I just want to give you guys a cute little fit check Starting with my top, I'm just wearing this simple gray sweater that you guys have most definitely seen before. Moving on to my pants, it actually came as a set with the sweater. And again, it's a piece that you guys have definitely already seen on multiple occasions. And last but not least, we have my shoes. I've just been obsessed with these black platform slides lately and I think I've been wearing them with almost every outfit for like the past couple of days. That's pretty much it for my outfit. Now let's move on to figuring out what I'm gonna wear for this trip. So here we are in front of my closet. As you can see we have a lot of options. So here we are. This is where I keep most of my dresses and I also keep them on the bottom down here. Some of these dresses you guys have seen already. I'm specifically talking about this light blue one right here. I may or may not take it with me, but as for this animal print one, I've, I think I've only ever worn it once, so this one might come with me, and this one I've styled before, so it definitely will be coming with me. Moving on to the bottom, we have more shirts and dresses. I think for this section, I'm only going to be taking two dresses from it, and it's most likely going to be this orange one and this green one, only because I think I have an idea of how I want to style both of them. Just to help myself out a bit, I'm going to show you guys what I did with my shoes. I laid them all out on the floor just so that I don't have to be going back and forth, and on this side, I laid all my sneakers out. Here are all the dresses that I've decided I'm definitely taking with me. I'm going to start off by trying on the orange one. So here's what the orange dress looks like now that I have it on. It's this cute little orange floral dress and it's off the shoulder. Here's a bit of a better view of how it looks on me. I really love how it flares out at the bottom. It would be like a nice little cocktail dress or something to go to brunch in. Here's how it looks from the back and I just love how it hugs everything in the right place. I think I'm actually going to style this dress with the shoes that it actually came with because they're a really cute pair and I think the shoes really match the dress nicely. So here are the shoes that they came with and they're like this tan, strappy, almost like a wedge but not quite. I just think these shoes are so cute, especially with this dress. This is the bag that I'm going to pair with the outfit. I didn't want anything that would overpower because the outfit is already pretty simple. So I just got this simple tri-colored bag. The yellow, the tan, and this really nice brown color would go great with the orange. For this next outfit, you guys have definitely seen it before already, and it is also another off-the-shoulder look. So we have this white mini dress, and it's a little shorter than the orange one, so I think I'd wear it like on a night out. And for my shoes, I have my black Givenchy shark boots, and this is definitely an outfit combination that you guys have seen before already. I've styled this on my TikTok, so if you want to see that video, then you can just go check it out and I'll probably link it below. As for bags, this is the one that I'm going with. It's a little worn because you know it's old, but it's still cute and I'll still pair it with any outfit. But I think I kind of realized last minute that maybe I only want two dress looks and those first two are probably the only two dress looks that I'm going with. Dresses kind of limit mobility and I don't want too much of that because I want to take good pictures. So yeah. Now, 
let's get back to the rest of these looks. So, hey guys, I'm cutting in the video right here because I realized that midway through, I actually changed the format of the way I was filming. So instead of going back and forth from my closet to choose each article of clothing, I just decided to come up with the outfit off camera and then show it on camera so that there's no confusion. This outfit is another one that actually made its debut through TikTok. And I was like, yeah, I'm definitely bringing this one on my trip. Starting with this black strapless top, it's probably one of my favorite things in my closet right now. It's just cropped in like the perfect area. Not too much skin showing, yet not too modest. And these gorgeous metallic silver pants are literally just showstoppers. This is how they look from the back. They fit perfectly and I am literally obsessed. As for the shoes, they are just the black slides that I already showed you guys at the beginning of the video. As for the bags, this is the one that I've chosen to go with this outfit. This next outfit has to be one of my favorite looks for the trip. It's this beautiful bright yellow two-piece. The top is the same as the black one, just in a different color. It is cropped the same way and fits beautifully. The pants are super high-waisted and have really wide bottoms. I wouldn't call them bell bottoms because they're not exactly like the bell, you know? They're not exactly like belled out. I don't know. Here's how they look because I know my explanation is kind of crazy. You see, they're just like really wide. It's not how bell bottoms are, you know, regular fit and then they flare out. These ones are just a wide leg. And while we're at it, these are the shoes that I'm wearing. These chunky white heels. They're pretty thick and I love them because they fit comfortably and they don't hurt your feet as fast as like a regular thin heel would. And another reason why I love them so much is because the pants come down really far and thanks to the heels, they don't drag on like the ground or anything. So they give me a little bit of height. As for the bag for this outfit, I'm just gonna use the same tri-colored one as before. So here I am cutting into the video again. I actually don't know why I said I was gonna wear the same tri-colored bag because I'm literally not gonna wear it. I chose to wear the brown one with the yellow outfit instead. Here is the final outfit that I'm bringing on my trip. In my opinion, this is the more casual out of the rest of them. And it's probably the more comfortable and universal. Starting with the top, I have this oversized fit white t-shirt with blue characters on it. This is what it looks like with my arms stretched out. It is very comfortable and very breathable. Moving on to my pants, I'm just wearing these dark wash skinny jeans. They fit very nicely and they are also very comfortable. And at the bottom, I'm just wearing my Yeezys with some stacked black socks. These shoes are especially good if you're doing a lot of walking, which is what I'm definitely going to be doing when I'm on my vacation. Lastly, this is the bag that I decided to go with. Before I end this video, I actually want to show you guys how I'm going to be packing Diamond and where she's going to be staying. So here it is. This is, I think, a Barbie deluxe closet or whatever. And I just did a few little DIYs to it to make it reminiscent of a hotel room. So let's open it up. Starting on this side, I covered up the window with some white fabric and here I made like a mini side table with foam board and contact paper. And this is a bed that I made that can actually fold down into a regular bed. On the other side, I changed out the pink plastic, the pink translucent plastic for regular clear plastic. And I also flipped around the cardboard insert that was on the back. This is what the cardboard insert looks like. As you can see, it's just a printout of a regular Barbie closet. But I just flipped it over because I didn't want this whole thing showing. This is what it looks like with the bed folded down. And as you can see, with the addition of pillows and a cover and our doll, it can look just like a regular Barbie hotel. 
Here's what it looks like all stuck up with our doll's clothes, shoes, bags, and bedding. And it even has a little bit of storage left for any other accessories that you want. And all of it fits nice and snug when it's all closed up. So we've come to the end of our video. I hope you all have enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.